Hey everybody, it's been week 33 here at Lambda School and this is my third week after graduation and I am still on the job hunt here. Um, I also wanted to let you know that week 32 was made but I had problems uploading it at my previous location. So I'm hoping it's uploaded here where I have a better connection. So for this week I'd like to talk about my interviews and then also a practice interview that I had that was granted from my school um, in order for us to practice for real interviews. So I'll talk about the two interviews I had this week. They were both on Wednesday of week 33. The first one was with a company that I'm really interested in. It's a um, fintech company and basically it's really cool because I love the tech stack that they're working with. So. They work with React, GraphQL, AWS, Python Flask, um, Postgres, and then they also do Next.js and some server-side rendering. So I really love that stack because it's newer and it's kind of what I'm accustomed to, and I love to learn more about it. And so I had an interviewer, I had an interviewer that was a senior software engineer, or one of many in the company. It's a smaller company about uh, up to 30 employees and they're trying to expand up to 50 employees um, by the end of this year so I'm really hoping that I get in and so the interview was very uh, general at first and then it also went into the technical side so some questions they asked me are why did you apply to this one this one job um, your strength your weakness um, your salary expectations when can you start and then the technical side of things was uh, what's an inner and outer join, difference between array and a linked list, difference between this.state, this.set state in React, uh, state versus props, how do you update parent state from a child component, um, and then some other questions as well. So I did really well on this interview, and they had asked me to do a take home challenge, which is coming up in week 34. And so I'm really excited about that, and I really do hope that I get a position in this company. Um, and I'm, I'm really excited about it. So the other interview I had was also the same day, but later in the afternoon. And it was with a big company, a big e-commerce company that's located all over the world. Um, they have offices in San Francisco, Austin, Texas, uh, Sydney, Australia, and also Kiev, Ukraine, believe it or not. So many opportunities to maybe work around the world in the future. Anyways, the interview was very quick, about 30 minutes, and I had a conversation with the engineering team lead. She was very friendly and easy to talk to. She asked me very general questions, um, kind of what, I, what position I was seeking in the company, um, what kind of company am I looking for, uh, where would I like to work because of they have they have those other locations and then tell them about my projects and my passion project and my latest project and so the interview also went very well and they had asked me to do another a technical interview in week 34 which I sit down with a uh, an interviewer for an hour to do technical um, explanations and so for both companies, I kind of asked a very similar question, like, what's the onboarding process like? Is there um, supporting education where they provide an allowance or, like, do they let you go to conferences? Um, what's the mentorship like? It, what's the culture there? That sort of thing. So just to see if it's a good fit for me because I am looking for a place to learn. It is my first development job. And so that's going to sum it up for the two interviews I had this week. And then on Friday of week 33, I had this uh, practice interview with a company called Skill. Now, Lambda School gives you a token to use on this platform where you sit down for an hour with um, a technical person. So my person has very prestigious um, credentials. Like he has some leadership uh, position where he's like working so that he can become like maybe a senior engineer one day or something. And he has a lot of background in computer science, so I was very impressed by him. Um, the interview was basically, you know, behavioral part, and then we went into a technical part where I had to work out an algorithm, explain how I did it as I'm going through it, explain big O notation, as well as, you know, kind of work through the logic of what I was thinking and explain certain things for him. Um, 
So suffice to say, I did better than average. I didn't do the best um, because uh, they, there were four different scores that uh, they gave me marks on. So basically, communications and coding I did very well on. Um, I knew my JavaScript fundamentals very well. I kind of lack uh, more computer science knowledge, um, specifically big old notation and thinking of like outside the, case, the box, like with edge cases and like things that you would need to test in order so that the algorithm doesn't break. So he had to help me along with that, but I'm very thankful because he was very kind and he walked me through it. He didn't make me feel like I was stupid or like, you know, just looking at me like I didn't know anything and like I just didn't know anything like from, from Lambda School or something like that. But I think it's okay because I've been working on projects and stuff. I haven't been really working on algorithms when I was doing Lambda Labs anyway. So um, I was pretty hard on myself, but I think he said, listen, you know, you did very well. Don't worry. Um, you know enough to get a, uh, a job so just keep studying and you'll get better over time and I really appreciate that so he sent me um, good feedback he gave me some links to study up on and I connected with him through uh, LinkedIn and everything is cool so I'm very glad all those are over I was preparing like crazy last week uh, more than I probably should have like staying staying up after hours and stuff like that but I think it was all worth it though, you know, just um, push your hardest until you get a job. And it's just a grind, it's just a hunt. Uh, that's all it is. So basically that's been week 33 for me. And again, I'm sorry for this video coming up late. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please look forward to next week when I tell you more about what happens after my coding challenges. Thanks and take care.